subject to something in everybody's mind is, is about what happened to Bono uh, this week in uh, Okinawa and, and all that. Um, it really sent a little shockwave through all of all of the football world and, and uh, followers and fans and family and loved ones um, alike. Um, and so what we're, we're all trying to send as much support and love and, and whatever we can with the prayers and whatever we can with, with you know, considerations of how we can help out um, as an organization, as individuals and all that, you know. The thing that we uh, we met this morning on uh, to talk about it so that we could see where, where the prayers were coming from, I got around to a bunch of guys before that meeting to try to just to see what, you know, what has taken place and where we were and, and all and, and uh, before addressing the group. And um, just a couple of things that were really fundamental about it is that well, we're fortunate that, that you know, their, DeMar's life was saved on the field. Uh, and, and so that's, how could that possibly have happened? Well, it's because how organized and how structured we are to try and be there for whatever the needs are in, in terms of supporting, you know, all the health issues that can take place. And it's just fortunately that that was available and, and we're able to do that. Um, and then, you know, we're just holding on daily as everybody is to see what the next report is and what comes out of um, you know, out of the hospital and all that. And, and, uh, but it was really important, I think, for us to recognize that everybody went through a first time experience kind of, you know, at the same time. And we responded and reacted uh, as players and coaches and people were really tied to the game. Um, in, in the, it was a dramatic moment in, in, in all of the trauma. And uh, we also found out that, that all of our families also reacted too, and everybody got immediately, we had phone calls from moms and dads and grandpas and aunts and uncles and, and loved ones and all of that, just trying to share the moment and see what, you know, what just happened and what do we think and all that. And so um, I think respecting the fact that people see it as through their own eyes for the first time and, and they, they have a response to it, that we need to be there for them and, and, and be available is it in every way that we can to, you know, make it to the next step that we take together. And, and uh, so, um, you know, fortunately our organization is all of our, you know, our clubs, they've got people that work with our players and, and help them address the issues and concerns and, and, and uh, coaches do the same because we care about it. It's like treating your kids. How would you treat your kid? You talk to them about it and try to work them through it and uh, make sure that we really emphasize that people don't hold it back and don't try to avoid it and bury it somewhere any more than they, you know, than, how they can handle it. And the other way, we would like to talk about stuff and get through it. So anyway, that's the that's the mode that we're in.